There's a legend about the river behind my house. Everybody says a monster lives in it. It's huge, bigger than a boat. It's got the head of an alligator, a wide, flat snout filled with super sharp, terrible teeth, and long whiskers. years old. That means it was swimming around before my great grandpa was born. Back then, they say the river was deeper and cleaner and full of all sorts of big fish. But if they're all gone, how can a monster fish still be out there? I don't know. It sounds made up to me. In every corner of the world, people tell tall tales about gigantic fish. Such stories may seem like legends, but they're based on fact. I know. I've seen them. My name is Zeb Hogan. I'm a freshwater ecologist and National Geographic explorer. I've been searching the world for freshwater giants for more than 15 years. And I've encountered many of them like the Piraracu of the Amazon. It has fiery red scales, and it can grow longer than a car. Or in India, the Masir, also known as the Tiger of the River. A fish so strong and powerful that people worship it in local temples. Monster fish live in rivers, lakes, and estuaries around the globe. They are definitely not the bloodthirsty beasts of campfire stories. They don't lurk below the surface, waiting to attack unsuspecting people. In fact, for centuries, people have been eating them. They are remarkable creatures that continue to grow for as long as they live. So the older they get, the bigger they get. These tremendous fish, with their bizarre features, are crucial to keeping ecosystems healthy and in balance. Sadly, you won't see many of these fish getting quite as monstrous as they used to. Life in our rivers is getting tougher and tougher. Fresh water is a limited resource. Humans have lots of needs for it and don't always treat it well. Without healthy ecosystems, most of these fish simply don't live long enough or have enough room to grow very large. These amazing fish may in time cease to exist altogether. But for now, monster fish are still out there, swimming beneath the surface in rivers and lakes near our homes. Though they are the basis for many a legend, they aren't the mythic creatures of fairy tales. They are real. I wish there was a real, live monster fish in the river somewhere. It's fun to imagine it's out there. <laughs> 